Ready? Yeah. The Ile Morimi brand um, is a brand that was named after the legendary bold Queen Morimi, a Yoruba queen who reigned um, 1,200 years ago in Nigeria. Um, I work with textile designers in Nigeria to create the beautiful, bold, vibrant, energetic colours. And I also work with young designers um, who come up with these lovely pieces um, and the embellishments as well. I decided um, to use Adiwe because it's the most popular um, fabric of the biggest tribe in Africa, the Yoruba tribe. And being a princess um, of the Yoruba tribe, I know the importance of showcasing our heritage through fashion. And um, the Adire now, um, that was the Adire that was the traditional and um, cultural piece that was created um, in Abekuta has now become a, a fashion statement because we have a lot of designers um, over the years who have used um, the Adire brand to create um, loads of amazing pieces. And this has sustained them um, the, the, it had to... <laughs> No problem, continue. <laughs> This has helped them um, to sustain the heritage of the Adire that was created one th um, that was created in the 19th century by um, a Yoruba chief known as um, Iyalode. Um, at Africa Fashion Week London, we know the importance of showcasing your heritage through fashion. We try to encourage our designers to showcase their culture on the runway because this enables them to tell their stories and the stories behind their indigenous designs and their indigenous fabrics. It allows them to talk about the origin, the relevance, the importance and also the techniques. Um, Africa is a continent and has about 3,000 tribes and each tribe um, has, they have their own unique fashion culture and this is what we try to preserve and promote at Africa Fashion Week London. Thank you very much. My name is Princess Ronke Ademilui and I'm the founder of Africa Fashion Week London and Nigeria.